everyone, I'm Steve. Um, if you guys like or you're looking for fitness tips for older adults or people as they're aging, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we do interviews with nutritionists, doctors, and so on. Um, and it's all brought from my perspective on testing things with my body and trying things with my body, different diets and supplements and so on. So today I want to talk about um, doctors' opinions. And I think too many people might be a little bit too trusting of doctors. I'm not saying that they're um, trying to deceive you, but doctors are people and they have their own biases and they have their own opinions. And I'm going to give you an example that's pretty interesting. And if I, this is just common sense to me that doctors are people and they're going to have different opinions. They're not going to be all exactly alike. And if you don't believe me, try getting two doctors, <laughs> try getting two doctors to read your same blood work, the blood work you had on the same day. And they're going to say different things um, because I've done that. A lot of you who watch the channel know that I'm on TRT. Um, so I've got a couple physicians um, giving me different advice who have looked at my blood work. Now, um, my hemoglobin has been a little high. Now, I research this stuff all myself. All, I research it and I listen to a lot of doctors. I live at a fairly high elevation. Uh, in Carson City, Nevada, where I live, it's about 5,000 feet. That will affect your hemoglobin. But TRT also will help or, or affect your hemoglobin. Now, I've heard a lot of TRT and hormone experts say high hemoglobin is not a big deal when you're on TRT. And I've had other physicians say that, yes, it is. It's still high. It doesn't matter why it's high. So when the hemoglobin's high, uh, advice that you may get is to give blood. And a couple months ago, I got that advice from two different physicians, give blood. One wanted me to give blood a little more than the other, but that was the advice to bring that down. Now I got my blood work back and it's all really good. I'm 61 years old. My blood work is excellent. I'm really proud of it. Uh, maybe a few things could be a little better here or there. But it came back and my hemoglobin was in the normal range. It dropped down maybe five points and it's a couple points down under the, in, into the range now. And uh, hematocrit also uh, came down. And that's probably from giving blood. So first doctor, uh, because now my iron was also a little low and my ferritin was also a little low. So the first doctor said, no more giving blood. I want you to, you know, skip around. And I do it every eight weeks because your iron's a little low. And he thought, and he's probably right, that the giving the blood has lowered my iron. I think it comes right back, but um, that was his opinion. And his advice to me was stop giving blood for now. Everything else is in the normal range and he wanted my iron to come up a little bit. The other doctor saw the um, hemoglobin and said, I want it lower. Keep giving blood. And go give blood as often as they will allow you to. Um, so there you go. There's, there's an example of two different opinions. So I have to make a choice. I have to decide whether I'm going to give blood or not being on TRT and where my numbers are. And I've decided that you know, it's once every eight weeks and I probably will do it again in six weeks or so whenever I'm due. But I'm also 
going to watch my iron and um, my ferritin to make sure, you know, I'm not, I'm not big on taking iron supplements, but I could, you know, bump it up a little bit that way. I know how to get it up with my diet. I know what type of food to eat to bring your iron up. So I'm, I'm probably going to um, give blood again, but I had to make a choice. I had to listen to two physicians and their opinions and why they're saying this. And so I had to make a decision on whether I'm going to do this or not, or what supplements I'm going to take. And I have to decide for myself because I ultimately am the one that is responsible for what I put in my body and what my health is. And I like it that way. And I respect these doctors and I appreciate them and I want their opinions, but it's not everything. And especially in this situation, I have to decide between two different opinions. So I just want to encourage you all to get multiple opinions. And as always, you hear me say this all the time if you're watching the channel, think for yourself, use common sense and apply your brain and what you know and what you've learned. And you can go do your own research. You could talk to another uh, physician. You, you can get as many opinions as you want. So I just, as always, want to encourage you all to think for yourself and don't think that you have to do something just because your doctor says, you know, take this or don't take that or do this or don't do that. So think for yourself. And, um, as always, uh, thanks for listening and uh, like and subscribe. You know, everything I pretty much everything I talk about is geared towards people as they age, working out. I'm a health club owner. And so you'll see a lot of shorts of me in the clubs also. So I will see you next time.